Igukuku? Igukuku. That one. Every single time. What is that? What color is that? And every time he's like, the one you got me. And I'm like, oh, okay. You just gotta get it. Mm hmm. What up, it's your girl, Mena, and welcome back to my channel. Yo, I like, okay, so when you know you look good, there's just no way. You just like behave differently. Like you just do things a little differently. And in this video, we are gonna shop together, okay? I wanna show you the items that I have recently purchased from Sephora and a bunch of items that I still wanna get. We're gonna put all of the items in the same shopping cart as a recommendation for you if you are shopping for the house. Okay, so this should be fun. I got the idea from Andrea Renee. She's here on YouTube and on Instagram. Okay, so let's get to it. Before we get started, I know you're probably like, eyes, makeup, hair, what's the deal? Let me tell you. The hair is linked below. Got a video of it on my IG channel. Make sure you follow me there. This look on my eye is also on IGTV, so make sure you are following me on Instagram. You're only gonna see the video on IG. So I'm going to share with you my phone screen and we're gonna shop together that way. Okay, so you know how cleaning brushes is very annoying? I have always loved Cinema Secrets brush cleaner when I was a makeup artist because it dries quickly, it smells like vanilla, and it's just it's just awesome. Like, you no know, one has time to be, you know, using soap and water. Even now with my own brushes, I'm like, why don't I clean on the go? Why am I waiting until they pile up and then go clean them? Like, that's irritating. Oh, so I've been putting my Cinema Secrets brush cleaner into this, like, test tube thing and cleaning my brushes as I go along while I'm doing my face. So my brushes stay clean, except for the big ones. I'll, I'll take a day and actually clean those. Now, Fenty foundation. I had Fenty 445 foundation and it was too light because that's my winter color. And then I thought that I needed to get 470. So I bought 470, 470 is deep. I reached out to Fenty to see if they could send me 450, which they did. And I was grateful for that. And 450 matches me so well for the summertime. But now it's getting a little colder out. I still wear 450, but I'm thinking that perhaps around end of November, end of November December-ish time, I will need to go to the 445. We're gonna see. I I may have just gotten darker in general and maybe 450 with my all year round color. I don't know, but for right now, 450 is my color. So if you're looking for a matte foundation, full coverage, just beautiful finish, then I recommend the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. And if you use me as a shade reference, then you're gonna need to get 450. Oh, Fenty Beauty, Mademoiselle, Mademoiselle. You need to get the pumpkin rose one because it is just like amazing. When I wear it, people are always like, what color is that? It's a soft orange. If you're afraid of orange, if you're cautious of orange, I think that you'll enjoy this one. Obviously you wanna make sure you pair it with a brown lip, like a lip stain, put a brown on the outside and then put that orange lip on the inside. Absolutely amazing. Now, wait a minute. Okay, it looks like they're sold out of pumpkin rose. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, you can find it on the Fenty website. Along the same lines of makeup, the Micro Smooth Powder from Sephora has really been working for me. I found this powder out from Alyssa Ashley. She was always using it. I got the shade Deep Ebony. I wish there was a darker shade, but it truly is like a mineralized skin finish. So it's not gonna give you a lot of color, but it does make the skin look buttery and just like awesome and amazing. So it's definitely a finishing powder that I recommend for sure. Okay, now the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette is one of my favorites because it's so small and compact and it has all the colors in it that you need for an everyday look. This one I love, the color is Topaz. I never even knew it had a color. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to that part. Two options in there for a transition color. Obviously you have your brown crease color, you've got some lighter colors to put on your eyelid, and you have shimmers to put either in the tear duct or on the eyelid. I did an awesome video on this on IGTV that I wish I had done here. People love that video. And I really felt so gorgeous in that look. All right, and then the far side Sally Skin Tune Blur, like, I mean, that's a recent acquisition for me, but I love the way that it feels. When you put it on, 
on and you're blending it in, it looks matte, it's kind of tacky. It's just an experience for me. I can't say that it actually does anything to my face, but if you love makeup like I do, sometimes you like stuff because it's just an experience, you know? It's like putting on a, a setting spray that's like a light mist and maybe it doesn't do anything to you, but it like smells good. It's just an experience. That's how I see the Farsali Skin Tune Blurs. Again, makeup is very, makeup is sometimes personal, like skincare is always personal. So for your skin, it might like really blur your skin out or something, but I shave my face. I do skincare all the time. I, it's hard to just attribute the awesome skin to a primer, you know what I do recommend it because it's just like nice. It just feels good, you know? Okay, now I did a video on the Rare Beauty collection and one of my favorites that I use almost every day and I have on in this look right now are the Illuminizers. This one I have on right now is a flaunt. Use the back of your damp beauty sponge but see by the time you get to your highlighter if you're putting it on after foundation your sponge should be just about dry. So it really it should be like an almost dry beauty sponge but it shouldn't be wet in any sense of the term unless you're putting it on before foundation but I don't put on highlighter or Illuminizers before foundation. I like it to be on after so I can really see it, you know. This is really, really good. It dries matte. It dries fast. It looks like skin. It doesn't look like it's sitting on top. It just melts into the skin. And if you've seen me put it on live, then you know what I mean. So their blush is amazing as well. I can't remember the colors that I have. I know I have the terracotta one. I know I have this one, love matte terracotta. Yeah, so they have matte ones and they have dewy ones. So get the matte if you wanna get what I like. You really gotta go easy because it's very pigmented, but really, really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Now, the NARS Soft Matte Foundation and Concealer, let's talk about it. I did a campaign with them on Instagram and I was using Namibia. Because of my settings on my computer, it looked to be fine, but in person, Namibia is more red than I would like. So I committed to grabbing Iguasu, Iguku, Iguku, that one, D3. So that's not here yet, but I did order that. Iguaku, almost like Iguana. I did order that because I like the finish of that foundation. Now let's move from makeup to skincare. Okay, so when it comes to skincare, listen, like, huh, so many, so many great options. You know. So I just recently started using the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Moisturizer. And so far, I like it a lot. And I just have a really good feeling about it. It smells like their soy face cleanser, which I'm gonna add as well. It's a gentle cleanser. The thing is, even if you have oily skin, you still wanna use a gentle cleanser. You should not feel like a paper after you wash your face. They've also got a holiday set, you know, you can purchase. Oh, and get the rose toner. Fresh deep hydration toner. This is like also an experience. The bottle with the roses inside, you shake it and it's like twirling like, like a Christmas. What are those things called? You shake them and the snow starts coming down. That's what it reminds me of. And it's very gentle, hydrating, like, ah. Uh, absolutely love the fresh line. Saturday Skin, I learned about from Andrea Renee, because I was like, what is this about? The name was like, I was like, Saturday? Like, what the heck is going on, you know? But she raved about their Glacier Water Cream, and I was like, okay. And I purchased it, and I was like, what? I swallowed that thing up so fast. Absolutely amazing. Oh, another gel cream is by Pharmacy. I recently finished that. Uh, Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer with Moringa and Papaya. That's also a good option. Loved it a lot. I just like that gel moisturizer. <gasps> Dermalogica has lots of great options. I enjoy their pre-cleanse cleansing oil. Now Dermalogica is you know, expensive. But I just wanted to tell you if it's good or not, okay? Love the pre-cleanse. It's the first step. Use it on dry hands, dry face with makeup on it. Rub, rub, rub. It feels strange. It feels weird to put oil on your makeup, but it melts everything and then you wash it off and it just makes washing it off easy. So when you wash your makeup off after having broken it all down with a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm, 
takes half the work off your hands. So you don't even have to use as much cleanser because you're not having to use the cleanser to break down the makeup. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to help you out. They've also got a micro, I gotta get this right, daily microfoliant exfoliator, okay? You put that in your on your wet hand, rub it together, it'll emulsify, and then you rub it onto your already clean face because you're then exfoliating your skin. Uh, it feels really good. It has a very gentle scent to it. And apparently you can do this every day. I don't exfoliate every single day because my skin is dry, but if you if you want to go for it if not a few times a week perfecto Ooh, Laniche man okay so clearly I follow Andrea Renee you know what I'm saying she has influenced me quite a bit and now in 2020 especially she really has she introduced me to the Laniche lip sleeping mask because she did a video on lip balms and lip things like balms and scrubs and stuff and I was like wait what is this thing and they sent it to me and I was like what this is awesome so I have the vanilla one which is great but as you can see, there are lots of options. They smell so good. They're so thick. They're occlusive. So if you put it on and you swim or you're in the shower, if you don't rub it off, it's not gonna come off. That's what occlusive means. It's nothing can penetrate through it, like no water, you know? Because when I put this on at night, I know when I wake up, I'm not gonna have chapped lips, but I still wear it during the daytime because it just feels and smells so good. Not under makeup, not under a lip, lip of any sort, but when I'm not wearing makeup, for sure. You know, Inky List has a hyaluronic acid that I like. I already finished it. It is free as well. I've been using their hydrating green tea serum. Let's find that. I think this is it, yeah. The bottle I have is different. I think the bottle I have is eco-friendly, but this is the product. Very light scent, very hydrating. And the trick that I've been doing a lot lately is layering my serums. I've been doing that, but let me explain. Layering the same serum. So for instance, this, I would take it, put it on, and then I'll apply another layer. So feel free to layer your serums if you want more intense hydration, why not? Okay, let's move on to body care. Rituals sent me products. I had never heard of them, never tried them, but honey, I am hooked. Okay, they've got this foaming shower gel. Oh my gosh. If you, okay, if it's not already obvious, I like fragrance. And I love the fragrance of this shower gel. And when I went online to try to get some more and find out how much it costs, I was like, 10, I like to round up. $10, I can do $10, I got $10. Mm. Let's just say my husband and I killed this thing down in a week because the two of us, we share the stuff and I was like, this is done. It was great while it lasted, you know? With the ritual of Sakura. Now, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if this is like, you know, alluding to something out of God, but you, you know what I'm saying? But it smells really good and I love it. So right now we are using the body cream, we, yes. And we smell so good. <laughs> Ooh, you also need to uh, exfoliate your skin. You need to do a lot of things. <laughs> I have enjoyed the Skin Fix Resurface Glycolic Renewing Body Scrub. It obviously has glycolic acid in it. So not only is it a scrub, so you just like scrub your body. It's a chemical exfoliant. So after using it, the skin feels smooth. I used it not on my whole entire body because the tube isn't that big, but I focused on my elbows and the back of my legs have raspberry skin, I guess to whatever you call it girl the youtube be having all kind of stuff actually devonna be having us out here feeling like we ain't doing enough you know what i'm saying she be having a foot she got a shower routine homegirl got a house cleaning routine she got an everything routine she if routine was a person you know it would be her bless god she told me about raspberry skin and i was like that is, does that mean i have raspberry skin Again? What does that mean? I don't even eat raspberries. Oh, another body cream that I really do enjoy is by Sol de Janeiro. I know if you're Brazilian or you speak Portuguese, that isn't how you say it, but I am open to constructive criticism. So if you want to send me a voice note on the Instagram and tell me how to say it the right way, please do because I want to be able to say it the correct way. I know the Janeiro is actually Janeiro. Janeiro. Am I doing it right? <laughs> This Brazilian bum bum cream is amazing. Again, fragrance. It is very packed with fragrance. But if you love fragrance, you're not going to be offended by that. You're going to be rejuvenated. You're going to just be awakened, you know? Awake my soul and sing, sing your praise aloud. 
And now let's move on to fragrance, which is the last category that I wanted to share with you. Yo, I have more fragrances this year than I've had in my life. Okay, so let's go over a few of the old faithfuls. Everybody knows about Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Like, if you were a teenager in the 90s, say 2000s, you know what I'm saying, early 2000s, if you weren't wearing light blue, then I don't know what you were doing. Even the knockoff version of light blue, like, you had to know light blue, okay? Comment below and let me know if you are familiar with light blue. That's an old faithful. Then, another one that I have been loving is Prada Candy. Prada Candy. I can't say these names like Tiff Benson would, but you gotta watch Tiff Benson because, number one, she's drop-dead gorgeous. Number two, she's a Fragrance, oh God, how would I do it? But she's a fragrance, I don't know if it's a connoisseur, Madame Osseur, but she knows her fragrance, okay? I digress, Prada Candy, gotta have it. Bottle is gorgeous, it's amazing, so add that to your holiday wish list or buy, you know, buy it for yourself, buy it for your girlfriend, buy it for you. My mom, <laughs> my mom has it and she loves it too, girl. It is just, that is just one of those fragrances that you just need. Okay, if you're gonna buy something for your husband, dad, brother you know any man in your life you know boyfriend you know if y'all like that you know if you're ready to spend that kind of cash on that man bless god i recommend joe malone london myrrh and tonka yo this stuff is pricey okay if you got 200 dollars and you love that man you're gonna need to get him myrrh and tonka i'm telling you right now and <sighs> when my husband wears myrrh and tonka i be like Every single time. What is that? What color is that? And every time he's like, the one you got me. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> you just gotta get it. Mm -hmm. It is really, really great. <laughs> I got my hands on the Giorgio, Giorgio Armani My Way that was sent to me and it smells really good. The bottle is really cute too. So I'm adding that to the basket. Ooh, Givenchy. If you saw my unboxing video, the first one, I got some stuff from Givenchy. Very, very surprised and grateful because come on, it's Givenchy for God's sake. You know, it's French, <laughs> you know. Irresistible, irresistible. This smells really, really good. So you gotta add this in its rose gold. Like, come on, you know? Like, Givenchy, ir, 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 mm -hmm. you gotta fix your mouth. We've discussed this, okay? We have had this conversation, you gotta fix your mouth. Irresistible. Irres oh. I don't know about the oh. Mm -mm. Okay, let's move on. Oh, Nest Fragrances. Now, I got a Nest Fragrance sample once when I bought something. <laughs> I can't remember what it was. You know how Sephora gives you um, samples? So I added it to my wish list. I was like, when I get some money, I'm getting Wild Poppy. It is so nice. I love it, okay? Now, Nest blessed me with more fragrances and I was dumbfounded. And I was introduced to Black Tulip. I want, I need to ask them if Black Tulip is unisex because I love it, but it's got a masculine tone to it, but also feminine. I like it. Just outstanding. You need Black Tulip. If I had to choose between Black Tulip and Wild Poppy, I would choose Black Tulip. And the bottle is so beautiful. It is just a vibe. I hope that that gave you some ideas of things to shop for this holiday season and also during the VIB sale. So far, the cart, we have $1,700 worth of products. Oh God. That was fun. I hope that you enjoyed that kind of a video. Comment below and let me know. Also, let me know if any of the items that I mentioned are items that are on your list, items that you have, items that you wanna try, tell me. Also tell me other items that you are looking to try because I keep a running wish list on Sephora. I just like to know what I wanna buy once I get the money. Like once I get the money, it's like, Add to cart, boom, boom, let's prioritize. Okay, let me get this, 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 boom. I'm glad you watched the video. Comment to let me know if you enjoyed it. Give the video a thumbs up. As always, I'm glad you're here and thanks for watching. Bye.